Hey everyone, welcome to class. Today's flow is dedicated to all of you who are incredibly busy this month. I know this is a really big month for a lot of holiday shopping and getting together with family and friends, and sometimes our practice is just not at the top of our priority list, which I think is okay. So instead of resigning yourself to doing absolutely nothing, I want you to commit to just a few minutes. And today's flow does exactly that. It's only about six minutes long and it's a better than nothing flow. So if you can manage to squeeze this into your day, I promise you'll feel better than if you did nothing at all. No special props needed and whenever you're ready, we'll go ahead and get started. Go ahead and start sitting down. We're just gonna take a couple really nice, easy, feel good stretches side to side. So go ahead and bring your right heel in front of your left shin and sit up really nice and tall. Now take the left hand out to the left, stretch the right arm over and just let the upper body kind of drape down. And you can drop down to the forearm if you feel like you can, or you can stay up on the hand. So this is super adjustable to whatever suits you today. And take one more breath in. Exhale, slowly close it up and just walk out to the center. Let the upper body drop down. Inhale, pick it up. You're gonna flip your feet around. So bring the left heel in front of the right shin. Sit up nice and tall. It feels a little weird, I know, but we're trying to make it even. <laughs> so sitting up tall, walk the right fingertips out, forearm or hand and sweep the left arm up and over. And give it one more breath. Exhale, start to close it up and walk to the center. Inhale, pick it up. Go ahead and lean back on the hands, cross your ankles, flip them behind you, and sit back in a downward facing dog. So it doesn't have to be a super deep down dog. It can just be enough to stretch out the legs, to feel the upper body work a little bit, and then I want you to settle into it. So move around, do whatever feels good, no matter how bizarre it might look. From your down dog, look forward. Step the right foot between the hands, spin the left heel down, take it all the way up to warrior two. So take your time getting adjusted here. In your warrior two, I want you to sink nice and low. So find kind of a strong variation for yourself, no matter how low that looks. Reach out through both hands and engage that back leg. As you inhale, straighten the right leg and exhale lower. Straighten it out, move with control, exhale lower. Last one, straighten it out, exhale lower, straighten it out, hold, slide the right hip back towards the left, reach through the right fingertips, drop the hand down, open up the left side. So you're in a nice, easygoing triangle pose. And just take a couple breaths, looking up or down, whatever feels best. Bend the right knee, take it back up warrior two. Straighten both legs, bring the hands to the hips. Turn both feet in towards the center. Come halfway down, flat back. You can either keep the hands under the shoulders or walk them all the way back to a nice, easy, wide forward fold. So I'm saying easy because I want it to feel easy to you. So whatever feels good, whatever feels like you can accomplish in this small amount of time is perfectly fine. So it doesn't have to be the deepest expression of the pose. Take a couple more breaths. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Bring the heels so that they're parallel. Soften the knees, hands to the hips. Take it all the way up. Let's warrior two to the other side. So left toes face the edge of your mat. Right foot cuts the corner, arms out, sit it low. So for warrior two, I want you to find a little bit more depth than maybe you typically would right off the bat because we want to find some strength here. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Move with control. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. 
Last one, straighten. Find your warrior two. Inhale, straighten and hold. Triangle, kick the left heel back. Reach through the left fingertips. Drop it down to the shin. Open up the right arm. So try to move the chest back just a little bit so that you're not dropping forward. Inhale fully. Exhale, soften the left knee. Come back to your warrior two. Hands to the hips. Walk the feet in, but walk them in so that they're just about shoulder width apart, maybe a little wider, depending on your flexibility. You're going to drop the hips down, so the toes face 45 degrees. Drop the hips down to a yogi squat. So you're going to bring the elbows to the inner thighs, bring the thumbs to the chest, and lift the crown of the head up towards the sky. So I'll turn sideways so you can see too. Lift it up. The spine should be nice and long. Your weight is in the heels. And take two more breaths. On your next exhale, let the hands come down. Just straighten the legs a little bit. Walk the feet in, have a seat. Face the center. Sit up nice and tall and just let the eyes close. Take a moment to let the breath slow down again. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Press the hands together. Exhale them right down to the heart center. And let the eyes blink open. Namaste. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed that one. Now make sure you are signed up to get free classes every week, Q and A's, and much, much more that I only put in my emails. So you can sign up right here or down in the description. Thank you again so much for joining me and I'll see you right back here for class next week. I know that we already finished class, but I want you to take a second and go on a little mini journey with me. So close your eyes one more time. Now imagine that you're waking up in the morning just like you do on any other day, only this time you feel more balanced, stronger, and you can tell a real difference in your energy and how you carry yourself. You know that you're gonna work out and eat healthy today, but you actually get excited about and look forward to the workouts. You feel that way because now you're using motivators other than the scale and because there's a whole community right there with you, cheering you on, discussing poses, and just being generally positive and motivational. You feel that way today because you feel like you're about to start the best day of your life. You're about to start over from the inside out with self-acceptance and self-love. Today, you decided to join a community of like-minded people and feel motivated and inspired every single day. And for the first time, you're not making excuses of why I don't have time to work out because after each workout, you feel amazing, happy, and energized. Now, open your eyes. If this sounds like the kind of day that you want to live and the kind of feeling you want to wake up with, then I highly encourage you to check out my new program, the Perfect Body Yoga Program. This is the first fitness program that doesn't just focus on a six pack abs or getting a bikini body. This whole concept operates on the belief that the perfect body is simply the healthiest version of the body you already have. But don't just take my word for it. I actually created that entire visualization from comments from users just like you who've been experiencing firsthand the effortless change in lifestyle that this program has created for them. But anyway, I won't say anything more about it than that. I'll just leave you with this last comment that I think is my favorite from a PBYP member that I think you're gonna love. She said, Every day, I cannot wait to do the next class. I can honestly say I have never made this kind of commitment ever. I want to do it. I can see me doing this program over and over again. That's kind of a drop the mic moment in my book. And I know that when the change happens from the inside, you know it's a lifelong shift. So do yourself a favor and check out more via the link below and I will see you on the inside. Hey guys, be sure to click below to find out more about the Perfect Body Yoga program. Now, if you want to see what other people just like you are saying about their experience with the program, go ahead and hit pause at any point on the screen to read the reviews a little bit more. 
I hope to see you on the inside, but either way, I'll see you next Monday for class.